I have got a collage of videos for you to watch now, man. And well, let's discuss it because some of them, well, all of them, I, I, I've got so many questions and maybe you know them um, and can enlighten me what the F is going on, mate. Some are just crazy to think about if it's actually true. And um, yeah, like there is a lot going on in the United States of America, baby. What's going on over there? What is going on? The Houston, Houston, Texas. Okay. The, the crows. Look at this video, man. I've got two videos of it. Look. Have you ever seen anything like that before in your life? Look at it! Look at it on the car park over here, mate! Maximum a Hitchcock, please! Right, here's another one. Isn't that creepy as hell? Now, I know birds migrate, but usually they have like a... They go to the same place, right? Whenever they migrate, they go to the same place. And this is the first time this has ever happened. But also, this was around. I know, I know. I'm gonna go down the whole like paranormal weird route. But animals tend to flee from danger, right? They flee from danger, and they can also sense things that we can't. And I think that's. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think that's fact, right? Because animals have this different sense. They can sense things in the air, like vibrations or whatever, mate. This happened at the same sort of time with all of this, like, alien stuff going on and that. Okay? So what the hell is that all about, mate? Look at them all. Like, I I'm, looking through I'm looking through the comments. Crows gathering means death is near these look like grackles i could see several with white eyes what the hell is a grackle crows are very intelligent they are speaking to one another about something going on are definitely there for a reason did anything happen around about this time near houston texas google maps <coughs> Um, Texas. Let's zoom out. So Texas is here. I mean, like, when I say, oh, it's right near Mexico. Okay. It's near Miami. <laughs> right? <laughs> I say near. It's massive. This <laughs> United States is massive. But it's next door, right? Has it got something? When was that? When was that posted? Oh, here we go. 26th of the 10th. So this is quite some time before the Miami thing. The Miami alien. Miami mall alien thing. This is from Houston, Texas. Yesterday. <laughs> dozens and dozens of people experienced. Yesterday. And this was uploaded a week ago. Mate, that's weird, man. That is so damn weird. And look at this other thing. Okay, this is this might be a little bit far-fetched, I must admit, okay? But people are shouting out blue something, right? And you know what it is. I don't know. Listen, this is a whole new world for me, okay? I'm so interested in it, but I don't know what I can say, what I can't say. I'm just, right, I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. It could be blue and you know what I mean. Look at this, mate. <laughs> Oh, holy fucking shit, guys. That's got to be fake. That's got to be fake, man. Oh, holy fucking shit, guys. Boom. Nope. Boom. Yeah, mate, that's got to be fake. That has to be fake. What is this thing, man? 
Because, right, for people that don't know, the, the blue thing, right? In a nutshell, it's, it's talking about a, a device that can project images into the sky that basically scare us. That's all I'm going to say about it, right? I'm, I'm going to test the water to see if you know what I'm talking about, right? So you've got that, you've got the crows, you've got the Miami um, Bayside alien thing which I've got maximum videos on. And then we've got Oprah Winfrey getting knocked out by a and ghost. You have to name it to claim it. So here's my definition of what wellness means to me. This is my definition, not yours, just an idea, because you're going to be defining it for yourself. Wellness to me means all things in balance. And balance doesn't mean all things are equal uh, or at peace your... at all times. Have it. Oh. Mate. Wrong shoes. Said you have to name it to claim it. So here's said watch, you have to name watch. It to claim it. So here's my definition of what wellness means to me. This is my definition, not yours, just an idea, because you're going to be defining it for yourself. Wellness to me means all things in balance, and balance here doesn't mean all things. Bang! There you are. Hello, Oprah. Haven't seen you for a while. How are you doing? Have it. <laughs> Mate, there's some weird stuff going on in the United States of America, baby. And um, what was the... Oh, mate, this is another one which freaked me out. I had to save it. Listen to this. This is crazy. I just uh, found something out. I don't know. Okay. I'm just going to say it. Uh-oh. You know night vision goggles. Yeah. If there's anybody who's been in the army and knows about this or ever used night vision goggles, please, please, Please tell me if this is true, man, because this is crazy. How they're like green. Now they have like the white phosphor, which is like whitish blue. But apparently the first night vision goggles that the U.S. government had during Vietnam were red. And basically these goggles were made with a chemical cyanocin or something. They were given to fighter pilots, people in planes and different parts of the military during Vietnam. And the soldiers were wearing them and they were seeing things. The gunner was like shooting in the air at nothing. What do you see right now and he's like how do you not see this they're like giant demons flying beside us what? And they're like, what are you talking about apparently the chemical that was in this allowed them to see on like some different visible spectrum or something and they were picking up auras it's and like, like the fourth dimension energy and people were losing their mind and going crazy because they were seeing whoa a band Mate, this is fucking fucking crazy man this is crazy oh my god right I, I, <laughs> this is stupidly crazy, man. Them and the army was like, "Do not put these on. There's something really wrong with it." Bring them uh, back. Um, Let's fucking wear them. Yeah, go to Coachella. House. Crazy. And then right after that, they stopped and they made the switch to green. I like, <sighs> there's so many stories and accounts of people seeing things when they're like on something as well, not just like the night vision. But have you heard of? You know, I think Mike Tyson's done it. The toad. It's, I think it's like the poison, the natural poison from the toad's skin or something, right? <clears throat> Don't go finding toads in your back garden and start licking them, okay? What I'm just saying is <clears throat> apparently there's a particular toad somewhere that you can extract the, the poison from its skin and then you can take it, or inhale it or whatever you do, right? Uh, please, don't bloody do it. It's stupid. But... Apparently, you go into this world, and it's almost like some people describe as basically you go almost like to a different plane, and all of your answers, uh, sorry, all of your questions are answered, and it resets your brain. So when you come back to Earth, you just feel uh, like calm and collected, and you you understand. There's no worries. It start. It sounds good, but apparently, like. I don't I don't suggest it, okay? I'm sure there's maximum negative sides to that, all right? I'm just saying. But that, mate, that's mad. And I saw a comment here. My grandpa used to uh, use the red night vision during the war. He swears to this day he saw demons flying around his helicopter. Now, I'm not religious. I've said this. I'm agnostic, which means, like, I, I'm I'm open to the idea of it. But I'm telling you, man... With all of this stuff going on, it's just sort of making me think that 
there has to be some other things out there that oh man i don't know should i i i don't know man i don't know because i always go back to the thought of where we can see only like imagine this is the spectrum of color right apparently we can only see a small amount of the spectrum of light how much let me let me try and google it hang on how much of the color spectrum can we see 0.0035% that's got to be bollocks the entire rainbow of radiation observable to the human eye only makes up a tiny proportion of the electromagnetic spectrum about 0.0035% you're having a laugh that's crazy tell me what you think about that man right and then i stumbled upon this dude here right this british guy here talking about something and um it is it's an eye opener so tell me what you think about this people are going to question what i'm about to say what if some of that shit is so big it can't be moved is that what you're saying ross is that what you've been that's told? exactly what i'm saying ross carlhart big so big they built a building over it in a country outside of the united states of america if they put they put they built a building over it because it's that big well that ain't that big i mean how big's the building look at dracula's castle or any castle that's big could probably still move that if you smash it down move it could take a year or two, but hang on, let's just hear him out. I know that sounds preposterous, and I know, oh my God, you can just hear them now, the bleating debunkers. Let's see this investigated. Let's just see what happens. Let's test these allegations before the Congress. It's very, very easy for people to go, oh, there's no evidence, oh my goodness me, let's just go away and ignore it let's test it we haven't even got there yet mm -hmm. you know there's a whole cadre of supposed experts on social media who are saying it can't be therefore it isn't and that's been the default for so many years it can't be therefore it isn't imagine if what mr grush is saying is true are we talking about mr grush okay think about the implications of that and imagine if so that might be a clue then that might be a clue of what building he's talking about. As I've just intimated to you, some of these objects are not capable of being moved because they're too bloody big. Really? I mean, that's pretty astonishing. Have you said that before? No. No. You're the first. See, I always save something for you, Jay. <laughs> always save me a little something. No, seriously though, Ross, that's that's nuts. So you were told by someone... Uh, a, a... Who is this guy? Ross Colhart is an Aust Australian. He doesn't sound Australian. Inve uh, investigative in journalist and author who has also worked in public relations. He is an advocate for the idea that governments are covering up knowledge of ufos and alien visitations Ooh, you don't sound australian though mate trusted source i imagine that multiple no, let, let me just tell you this i know exactly where it is my goodness take my us out there mate do you think that's going to come to light one day one day yeah and it's it's really interesting because it's absolutely gobsmacking that Jeez. it's being kept as a secret so there's a massive ufo i would say like the mothership right there's a massive ufo and he knows where it's located jesus imagine having an object that's so big it's just not conceivable to move it and i, I thought it was bollocks when i heard it too and most people listening to this to this will anyway but um uh yeah i mean again just an allegation oh he does sound a little bit australian actually one that i'm you know assured should be taken seriously and hopefully will be being investigated by the congress is he just making it up though because he's 
you know, he's known for this, and he's like, oh, I better, I better come up with something because I'm, I need some more content. You know, I need to get paid somewhere. I need to get more interviews. Is he just making it up? Because again, where did the money come from? What's that money accounted for? The continued security and and um, control of such an object for many decades. Who's paid for that? What programs have paid for that? Has that been disclosed to taxpayers? This is going to be a really fun inquiry. If Congress starts doing its job. People right, so some people are saying Denver Airport? The Vatican? CERN? I don't know. What, I, I'm seeing this C-E-R-N thrown around everywhere. I've not looked into it. I don't know. Um, isn't it? Isn't it the company that's doing all the particles, um, hitting the particles and neutrons and in making shit? I don't know. I don't know. You have to tell me about that one, <laughs> right? It's under Mecca, Denver International Airport, hidden in Antarctica. <laughs> hey Riddler, if you know exactly where it, where it is, and why not expose it? If you're credible, then. No, it would be a danger to us. Sorry, I can't read. Okay, hey, Riddler, if you know exactly where it is, why not expose it? If you were credible, they know it and would be in danger. So tell us before they snuff. I get so tired of these cryptic videos. Leave so much unsaid. That's true. It is true. <clears throat> it is true because the thing is, there's so many whistleblowers now. And the government has openly said, yeah, okay, we've got stuff going around like well, we don't know what it is. So just fucking just let it all out, man. Let it all out. Oh, and 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 then and also in and also this in America. What this is New York City, babe. New York, baby. Okay? A mysterious blue light was <laughs> sorry. Listen to, look at this. A mysterious blue light was seen in the sky of New York City, baby, tonight. Similar to the one seen in 2018, second video. Look! You have never seen nothing like that. Look, he's recording it as well. Man! I thought I was bugging. When I was standing over there, I'm like, what is that? Why is the sky purple? Look at it. And it's only here. Look, this one's not that good. Uh oh, somebody else has seen it now. Oh, shit, it went off. It just turned off, mate. It just bloody turned off. How would it went off like that? That was not natural. Look, look. What the hell was that? <laughs> Christ, that scared the shit out of me. I've also got to show you this as well, man. I've also, just before I go, because I know I'm, I, I didn't want to make a full video about it because I think it's just like, it, it, it's enough now, okay? But I'm going to throw it at the end of this video, okay? Um, and I can't believe that I've only just sort of seen this. So people are tweeting it out to me. <laughs> the jellyfish, man. Go and check out my, my, I think it was my latest video, video before. Talk about the jellyfish UFO. That's crazy, that is. <laughs> right, uh, sorry, I, I'm, 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 um, oh, this is, yeah, yeah, whatever. Right, what's this? Oh, yeah, here we go. Right, I've not covered this, but this is, this is weird, man. I'm just so annoyed that it's always so blurry. I'm just so annoyed. It's, uh... Here we go, look. Right, let me, let, me, let me go back. Let me go back. Look, watch. Right, here, is it here? There. Like, what is... This is what they're pointing at. That's what they're saying is the alien. Look at it. And then it just... And then it just vanishes or it, or, it, or it blends in with the background. It's just so blurry. Why is it so blurry? Let's play it from the start. 
Yeah. What was the other one as well? Here we go. Yeah! Oh, shit! Mate! Look! Oh my god, man. Oh my god. Imagine if it's actually true. All of this. And there was actually 10 foot effing aliens whilst around Miami Bayside. Right? And by the way, I googled. I went to Google Earth. And I went. I, I dragged my little yellow man onto the ground of Miami. What a beautiful place. I need to go there. But look at this. What the hell, man? Am I tripping? Am I just... Look at it. That's clear as day. Mate. Okay. Right. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. So basically, mate, the world is going absolutely crazy right now and i've got so many questions i need some answers um it's really entertaining i'll give you that please let me know what you think about these videos america mate what the f is going on over there man what the f is going on but there's stuff in the uk as well that's going crazy i might do another video about the stuff that has been sent to me but keep on sending me stuff man follow me on x and send me that, that sort of stuff and um, oh, uh, my e emails as well, caspertube at hotmail.com. So thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.